I'm nearly at the end of this marathon, thank God. And the penultimate Doctor is the one I found the most difficult to choose. There are fantastic standout examples of Matt Smith's Doctor, but I don't imagine I could fit them into 6 or 7 minutes worth of a video, and doing these have been tiresome enough and I want to move on from this. With that out of the way, Night Terrors by Mark Gatiss. Originally intended for broadcast in Series 6 Part 1 with a working title inspired by an episode of Star Trek and a rhyme, it was moved to the autumn half. Instead we have 45 minutes which, apart from a last minute connection, exists all on its own. It has a strong use of light and dark, courtesy of the director's eye and also the director of photography. In a way it reminds me of the specially shot Series 5 trailer, late night shooting, normal becomes paranormal, that kind of thing. It's also nice and creepy with the nightmare inducing peg dolls. Oversized heads giggling and singing a dark playground song. You could dismiss the episode as a bunch of cliches but they're done well in my opinion. Like that moment where Purcell gets turned into a dolly. It's seriously, seriously terrifying. It doesn't need to show you loads and the CGI works in that scene as well. The cast of Night Terrors are good too. Some people might think the kid who plays George is a bad actor. However that can be excused as he is an irrational character as well as an alien trying to fit in with the humans, so it adds a sense of otherness. And Daniel Mays feels very believable as the struggling father. To finish, I think the episode could have found a better use for Amy and Rory. The most they do is wander around the fake house, and Amy gets caught and turned into a doll. The resolution's a bit too easy, which is a problem with a lot of horror films, and it's also quite saccharine. This could be too high a mark, but considering how mixed Maximus era could be, I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10.